So I ordered something new in the mail and I wanted you guys to see it firsthand as I unboxed it. And what I decided to do was upgrade. Um, I had been looking for a new um, cartridge um, for Sparta DOS X for a long time. And one of my viewers turned me on to a site that is actually building these Sparta DOS X cartridges today. Um, I'll include a link in the bottom of the description. They're called Bits of the Past. And what they're doing is they're creating the what's called the Super Spartados PCB. And um, I actually found it, um, you know, that it works just like the original Spartados cartridge, except with an updated version of Spartados. And I also found a, um, a distributor online that is creating 3D printed cases, like you see this one here, this purple Spartados X that actually hold the PCB, and I'll include a link for their um, company as well in case you decide you want to order yours. But this is a pretty high quality cartridge. Um, I like the, the colors that they offer. Um, the printing resolution seems to be very fine, um, and the, the filament seems to be of good quality as well. Now, along with this PCB, I got a backup battery for the real-time clock. Uh, one of the things that my original Sparta DOS cartridge um, that was originally made by ICD um, that did not have was a real-time uh, clock on it. This new Sparta DOS, um, Super Sparta DOS PCB does have a real-time clock on it and there's a spot on the board, which I'm gonna show you in a second here, that actually um, you can put a, a battery on it for keeping the date and time for your Sparta DOS. Now, for those of you who may not know what Sparta DOS X is, it's a disk operating system for the Atari 8-bit family of computers. Um, it, the, basically, the ICD, the supplier of this operating system, um, basically dropped out of, of sight when the Atari 8-bit line of computers were dropped. And since then, it's become abandonware. And there's been a lot of uh, enthusiasts that have taken over the development of this software under the SpartaDOS X upgrade project. And I'll create a link for that in the description as well. This what I'm showing you here now is what's called a cart expander. This allows you to basically um, expand the cartridge port on the back of the 130XE to give it a vertical plug. I ordered that extra just to see how that would work along with our setup. Um, but in any event, I'm gonna go ahead and put this cartridge together here. Uh, there's just some basic screws that you need to remove. Put the PCB inside the cartridge case along with the battery before you can use it. Now a few more interesting points about SpartaDOS X. It is, it is a non-multitasking operating system and it was intentionally modeled after MS-DOS's look and feel. It consists of the kernel, the system library, several types of drivers, and the shell, which also, ironically, is called command.com. And there's also a number of utility programs. Uh, the SpartaDOS X is written in 100% 6502 machine language and it fits into 128K file-oriented ROM image. Now, the current version that I have on this PCB that I ordered is 4.48. Now, Sparta DOS 4.0 came on a 64 ROM cartridge, K ROM cartridge, with an external cartridge slot on top to allow another cartridge to be used in conjunction. So basically, what's nice about the Sparta DOS cartridge is you can have it plugged into your Atari computer um, all the time that gives you access to DOS, and then if you need access to additional cartridges, you just plug those additional cartridges on top of the pass-through slot on top of the Sparta DOS 10 cartridge. Now, in this particular one, like I mentioned, it's got a real-time eight battery backed up clock. And so if you insert this battery into this cartridge and once you set the time and date, it will keep that in the memory, which is nice. So we're just gonna go ahead and button this cartridge up and see how well it works. So overall, I think it's a pretty good little um, addition to the collection. It gives me the latest version of Sparta DOS X. It's a nice case, it's a sturdy case, and it's got a real-time eight clock built into it, so my time and date will always be time stamped on all my files and my source code files that I'm creating on a daily basis. So I think that's a pretty sweet deal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hold it up next to 
my original Sparta DOS X cartridge, the original that I bought from ICD. And you can see it's very similar, uh, almost exact in form factor. Um, it has the pass-through cartridge slot on the top so you can plug in additional cartridges like your assembler Mac 65 or um, Atari writer or whatever other cartridge you want to use just plug it into the top of the Sparta DOS and still have access to all of your DOS functions and disk drive saves and what have you. Alright so let's go ahead and power up this Sparta DOS X cartridge and see what we get. All right, you can see right away that we've got the ultimate clock installed and we've got SpartaDOS X 4.48. We'll go ahead and set the time with the time command. Now you can do, you can use 24 hour military time or regular, you know, 12 hour AM PM time here. Let's go ahead and set the date. And once we do this, it should be saved onto our cartridge and we should not have to do it again until it's time to replace the battery, which shouldn't be anytime soon. We can use the TD, which stands for time and date, and then the on switch, which will actually turn the time and date bar on and leave it on uh, for the remainder of our session. Now I'm gonna go ahead and power up our S Drive Max and get a nice drive image um, loaded up here so we can actually do some actual testing of um, opening and closing files, loading files, and I want you to pay close attention to the SIO sound that's coming out of the speakers. Um, you're going to notice it's got a real high pitched and a very fast frequency which is going to basically indicate to us that the high speed SIO has been turned on on this version of the Sparta DOS which gives us a much higher throughput. I'm not exactly sure how much faster it is but telling by the speed I can tell you it's gone up from the standard 19200 or the 57, 600, wherever it is, it's probably upwards of 115 uh, kilobits per second or probably even higher than that. So I'll, I'll look into that and uh, let you guys know in a future video. But as you can see here, we've got the right date and time saved on this hello.basic file that we just created. So real quick, I just wanted to show you how this extender board works in order to allow you to have your cartridges mounted vertically on the back of your 130XE. The only thing I didn't like about this is it doesn't come with any type of a case for it. So other than the tightness of the cartridge port on the back of the 130XE, it's somewhat of a flimsy solution. So I was just real careful in inserting the cartridges um, I did a little support on the on the bottom of the PCB so I wouldn't uh, apply any unnecessary pressure on the back of the 130XE's port slot, and it seemed to work out okay. Um, I think I would, I think I'm going to look at either 3D printing some kind of a housing for it that would give it a little bit more stability um, on the desk side, like maybe some support feet, a housing that would have some support feet that would sturdy it up. Um, but in general, I like the idea of having the cartridges mounted vertically instead of having them, you know, going um, horizontally in the back of the computer, which obviously you run out of space between the computer and the monitor. It's easier to have it vertically as you see here. And that's kind of like the configuration I want to get to, so. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some uh, information on Sparta DOS X and what you can do with it and how you can get your copy of it. There's some other upgrades for the Atari that provide this, like the Ultimate 1 Megabyte and some of the other internal upgrades. 
but I like having the cartridge. So anyway, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.